I'll immediately get into the theme of 2019 Asian Evaluation Week, which is uh, quality evaluation. So um, there's lots of discussion around various um, ways in which the quality can be improved. Primarily, one is discussing capacity building aspect of it. Can you take us through a little more of your thoughts on that? Well, I think that this particular platform, the Asian Evaluation Week, is a wonderful opportunity. And I haven't been to all of them. I've been to three out of the four. But what I've seen over those few years is how the community has grown and how this platform has helped that community to grow. So I see some of the same people, and uh, they're now engaging in a way that certainly is much more dynamic about the topics than before. But also see some new people, and that they're interacting with uh, those who came here earlier. So there's a lot of South-South learning. So I think both of those aspects are really important for AEW. We're happy to hear that. Um, now coming to the kind of work that 3IE is doing, and you are leading at 3IE, um, the context in which evaluators like you are working is increasingly getting more and more complex. Um, we would be interested in knowing what are the, some of the primary challenges that uh, you face, especially in terms of the humanitarian aspect of the work that you do. So one of the sessions that we're helping to organize here is, in fact, on complex settings. And I think the point that we want to make here is that rigorous evaluation, which is what organizations like 3IE champion, is possible even in this, these complex settings, such as post-conflict or post-disaster, in which you need humanitarian support. So what we're going to show here is some examples from some fairly challenging situations in Africa on how it is that mal malnutrition has been addressed in post-conflict settings. And there, some of the lessons that we've been learning is that uh, you have to be flexible in your approaches, certainly, uh, in methodologies, and you have to be prepared for the unexpected in terms of timing and delays, and you have to be prepared to actually pay a little bit more for these kinds of evaluations. But it's always possible to get great results uh, if you do this properly. All right, so we'll be very interested in you taking us through one of the success, successful case stories, if at all, from the presentation that you're going to make. Now, for example, in the Sudan, there's some, uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, evaluations that we've done on programs that the World Food Program have done have shown that um, acute malnutrition have been addressed very well through some of the feeding programs that they've had, even though uh, 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 some of the areas were, in fact, very, very challenging. Fantastic. We look forward to your session. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks a lot, Thank you.